Hello, coin collectors out there. Welcome back to the Big D Coins channel. You've probably seen plenty of videos about this coin right here. It's the Bicentennial Eisenhower Dollar Coin. It's the most common of the Eisenhower Dollar Coin series, which ran from 1971 to 1978. So we'll throw that one aside and we'll talk about these two coins right here. And interestingly, these are the first years that the Eisenhower dollar coin was made. It was also the only two years that PCGS has on their website for error coins, error or variety coins. In 1971, we have what's what they call the Friendly Eagle. It's FS901 Type 1. It's on the reverse side of the coin. And also in 1972 on the reverse side of the coin, or actually the whole coin in general, is the Type 2 Strike. So we'll talk about the Friendly Eagle of 1971 and the, rever the Type 2 of re Reverse Strike for the 1972. But first, let's cover the basics of this coin. What you're looking at right here is the Eisenhower dollar coin. It is a very hefty coin. Unfortunately, there is no silver in it. The coin weighs 22.68 grams. The metal composition is 91.67% copper, 8.33% nickel. It does have a melt value of 15 cents, which would be terrific if it was a penny, a nickel, or a dime, but it is a dollar coin, so you are not going to make any money by holding on to these coins for its metal content alone. Now, as far as the mintage of these coins go, 1971, the first year that they were made, there were 47 million made at the Philadelphia Mint, which is going to be this coin right here, which doesn't have a mint mark on it. There were 68 million made at the Denver Mint. In 1972, we had 75 million made at the Philly Mint, no mint mark, and 92 million made at the Denver Mint, which is this mint mark right here. I'll zoom in on that for you. Um, the mint mark itself is not anything very special. It's a small little blob type thing right there. You can barely even make out that it's a D unless you get the, the uh, angle just right with a big zoom on the camera. So that's what we're looking at for the mint mark on these coins. It's on the obverse side of the coin. Now let's talk about that error coin or the variety coin we were talking about. The 1971 Friendly Eagle. So if you flip it over, and on the reverse side, if it's got a friendly eagle smile to it, then that's the variety that we are talking about. This coin doesn't really have much of a smile to it. We compare, we compare it to the 1972 right there, and it looks like pretty much the same beak on the coin. So I do not think this is the friendly eagle variety. In addition, um, the coin is rather worn out, so it wouldn't be worth getting it graded. But guess what? If it's in a high-grade condition, it can be worth even more if it's got that friendly eagle. PCGS has graded two of them. The highest grade that they got was a 66+. plus. Those have a value of $2,750. The most common grade appears to be a Mint State 65 for the friendly eagle in which PCGS has graded 167 of those with a price guide of $190. So that's what we're looking for with the Friendly Eagle variety. Now let's talk about the Type 2. This one can get a little confusing. This is also mentioned in the Cherry Picker's Guide to Rare Die and Variety Coins for the 1972 Type 2. But the 1972 Type 2, what we need to do is focus in on Earth right here. With the Type 2, Earth is rounded and the Caribbean islands are blended into a single area that is difficult to detect among the general markings along the eastern United States. So the Caribbean islands, which uh, mine's so worn out it's kind of hard to see, but these ones are separate from the eastern United States right here. On the So that's what we're uh, looking for. If the Caribbean islands are kind of blended into the eastern shore of the United States, uh, that is going to be what's known as the Type 2 Reverse, also known as the Variety B Reverse. And the point of focus is the northwest of the eagle's uh, head. So we got the eagle's head right here. You go north and then you go west, and that's where your focus needs to be. The variety is for, referred to as the King of Ikes 
by the Ike group called the B reverse when it was first discovered it is later called the type one reverse by Bren. Uh, and it's uh, documented, well, it's it's the type two, it's the variety two reverse. Uh, so I should correct myself on that. So that's what we're looking for for the variety two reverse. The highest grade for this coin that PCGS has ever graded is a mint state 65. And that uh, has a price guide of $1,300. A mint state 66, PCGS hasn't graded any of those but they've got a price guide of $10,500 for that type two reverse. Now these uh, can be more common in the lower grades, um, but you know you really gotta get the highly graded coin to get a good value out of that. All right, let's quickly recap what we talked about in today's video. Keep your eye out for the 1972 type two reverse and keep your eye out for the 1971 Friendly Eagle. Those are the two varieties that are mentioned on the PCGS website when you go to look up their uh, price guide for the Ike dollar. All right, everyone, that's all the info that I've got for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you are into coin collecting, please do check out some of the other videos on this channel. Thank you very much, everyone, and best of luck coin collecting out there. Enjoy.